Well, good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Leaving Hollywood. Man, this is such a different life. I've been up here now for three weeks, and I gotta tell you, the commute to work is very different. It used to be about leaving the suburbs and heading down to the studios in the city, whether it was Burbank, Hollywood, or some random part of Los Angeles. The industry is really spread out. I don't know if most of you guys know that. It's not like you just go to Hollywood. It's throughout Southern California sound stages, locations, all that stuff. But my commute today was about 300 yards. I came down from the main house. I brought my Sprinter van because I need to charge it up. So I'm gonna plug it in to the uh, shop here and let the house batteries charge. And it's been sitting all week, so I'm probably gonna hook up the charger to the main battery on the van because this cold weather really pulls the batteries down. Let's take a look inside and see where we're getting with building the shop. Now I'll tell you guys, it's really slow going because it's cold and apparently I have an adverse uh, reaction to cold. It makes me um, act like a total wimp. <laughs> so here's, oh, look at that. The lights pop back on. I guess I gotta fix that. I'm using a power switch right now with a button that's a depression button, but it's, it's maybe it's the cold but that switch will let go and I, I'll come in here and outlets will be turned back on. It's all very temporary what I'm doing right now, but it's, it's working. So this here's is really such a raw start from where I was. I'm just so used to be able to walk into like my tool room, my electronics department, over to the metal shop, you know, over into the wood mill. And this is it, it's all been reduced to this guys. So um, if this is interesting you, uh, watching somebody really start from scratch on a very low budget, coming from a very high budget world, well, hit that subscribe button down there, hit the notification bell. I could use your support and help. But for now, let me quit yapping and let's put up a few more light fixtures. I gotta warm the shop up first and I'm out of uh, fire fuel. I'm gonna go get me some fire fuel. I've already, I've already learned that there is a different use for different types of axes. This is not ideal for chopping firewood, but when I was shopping for axes, I was picking them up thinking, well, I don't want to swing anything too heavy. I'm old, but turns out a heavier ax would have been better because I'm really having to swing the crap out of this thing. So maybe tomorrow we go pick up an eight pound ax instead of a three and a half pound. Okay, I'm sure there's a better way to do that. Probably better tools for it. It seemed like it was gonna be fun at first, but at least gets my blood pumping. Let's go heat the shop up. I have a sneaky, sneaky suspicion that the reason this barn gets so cold so quickly is that there's a big hole right there. So what do you think? A week's worth of firewood, a month's worth of firewood or six weeks worth of firewood. A day's worth of firewood. That is basically what it takes to run that to keep this shop reasonably warm. This is why I want to build a better system. I'm learning so much. I'm sure there's probably a better way to do that. Yeah, let's, let's vlog on a ladder. Let's see if this works. Riveting entertainment. Okay, up we go. Up, up we go. Set this here. Oh. I keep forgetting the top of the barn here is curved. I can't stand things up. 
but I think we got this. Ooh. I didn't think this through. So apparently you need to know to open the flue on these camp stoves all the way. I had wasting all my heat because it got so smoky in there up on the ladder I couldn't breathe. So now I'm running the uh, the big, you know, 185,000 BTU uh, heater. It's got a big fan on it. So I got to vent the shop out. But you can see the shop right now is still a total shit show. It's an absolute mess. We're going to get there. Here's the shop from this angle. It's still smoky up here. Let me let me set this camera up a better way, hopefully. We'll make some good use of the fresh air out here and what little daylight we've got left at 2.45 in the afternoon. Here are the light fixtures. This is not a product review, but I figured I'd just show you what I'm putting in up out there and how easy these are to put in. So there's your little bag of hardware. It comes with like four different types of screws, a couple wall anchors if you choose to do that or put them through drywall and hang it. The unit couldn't weigh more than a few pounds, if even that, it's super lightweight. They're not real fluorescent bulbs, they're LED strips. I was a little disappointed. I thought they were changeable, that like you could replace them, but they're not, they're just molded into it. But again, for 39 bucks, what are you expecting, right? But the assembly of these is really something that a man with soft hands can do. So, until I get my calluses, chopping that wood's gonna help. But check this out, you just got these uh, simple little wire hangers. And it comes with, I don't need that. Let's see here, put this in my pocket. Those are the little eye screws and the anchors it comes with. And a couple pieces of chain, and they seem adequate as far as the lengths. They could have been a little longer, give you more options, but lamp chain or jack chain is pretty inexpensive. So, so what I'm doing is I just uh, I take these and just loop the one end through, and then fish them through this end. like little hooks but they were falling out when I'm up on the ladder I don't want to have to put them back in so I'm just taking a piece of tape that seems to be holding them just fine this end down here loop it through yeah this this is my big tutorial moment I'm probably gonna get like a million a million views on this incredibly advanced technology build process. This is real craftsmanship here. Okay, hold on to your seats, everybody. You put these in the slots, you line the hole up, and you bend them up, flip it over, and for the more advanced builder, here comes the tape. But that's basically it. The, uh, the next part is just putting in the uh, two eye screws, and I use a Allen wrench inside of a, a drill motor to speed the process up. Ta-da, we're done. Let's go put them up. Got to take a little break. I just got called up for breakfast. <laughs> hey, now I'm getting pretty optimistic. It's like I'm seeing things in a whole new light. It's looking a thousand times better. I've got way better lighting in here now, but I've been summonsed to go back up to the house and get ready to go on our post-Christmas celebration dinner. Apparently, my wife has made plans for me tonight to go on a boat tour to see Santa's house out on Lake Coeur d'Alene. So that is my journey for the evening. Maybe I'll take my camera with me, maybe I won't. 
But look at this place, it's starting to shape up. I did a lot more than just hang those couple lights. I've been going through all this crap over here. I dug that ladder out, one of those little mighty giants. So tomorrow I'll be able to come in and put lighting along that two by six that runs the length of the barn here. Not quite the full length, but about three quarters. So every other one we'll put a light in because that's what I've got. And then we'll use the extra two, uh, two fixture unit and we'll hang that. And then later on this week, I'll probably go buy another handful of those fixtures to do that over there. And then we will order the lights to hang from up there and get these lasers hooked up because that's something I'm itching to do. Plus I gotta get these toolboxes and you know, so much to do. I almost forgot, like, subscribe, comment. There, look at that. I'm a professional YouTuber now. <laughs> See you guys on the next video, bye.